Mother got fucking huge nut. Sweet Lao, give me the goosebumps, mama. The gooseies. Calling fucking bats and the crew, man. At this point, I pretty much have to do it by forest, man. <laughs> I jump to the right. Kick the guard in the balls. Steal his gun. And an act of. Adrenaline and ass pull shoot every fucking guard in the room and the queen all in one fluid motion. I don't even know why, it's just the only thing that's like actually not used yet and it has to be used near the end. I have finally found its use, man. Amara should have the power. Should have the name, truly.
Did you really not channel spirits? I thought she needed to be able to. I guess she just used the clothes. bad. <laughs> I think that goes in hand with us, man. How does she get her hair to float then, man? You haven't been thinking that hard. Are we all under gunpoint right now? He should just spit it out before he gets shot. If I was her, I would just shoot him right now. He's like baiting it, but it's like, you're kind of, that we just forget about, you might as well just forget about the gun dudes, I guess. <laughs> the royal guard's too good, man. Objection! God, it's not voice, man. These fucking guards, man. This man has spiritual power, dude. He 
It's Apollo's desk slam still have. Some oomph to him. Fucking Royal Guard. Maya wouldn't be the queen. Queen Amara is still around, so she's got spiritual power and channeling. <laughs> if Maya was the queen of this country, man, you might as well just nuke it off the face of the map, man. It's gonna be to the same effect. <laughs> Out for a dip. So your mother's a pussy, man. Hmm. She got cocked, man. Now.
sweetness, man. The young sweetness. Oh boy. What's up, Athena? Oh boy. What's up, Maya? Yeah, it was a good case, man. Solid. Good twists. And even if you could call a lot of the twists, it usually it wasn't very far in advance, so... Appreciated that. Especially since they were solid-ass twists. Paul was good. Had a lot of good, you know, actual story for the characters and shit. Some motion in it, you know. Solid, man. It's pretty long, and that's just like this part. Hey, technically, this case is still, uh. That other case at the beginning with the Founders Orb. I guess the fourth one's a little shorter, so. Yeah, it's paced just fine. <sighs> and final trial day alone, yep. Not the investigation and the whole other trial on there. Yeah, really, dude. Fucking hell. Fucking. <laughs> Fucking Edgeworth suitcase, man. You got a big suitcase. Scott Edgeworth was even here. They just fucking had him here. It wasn't important at all. They just had him just so you could see his ass, man. Like, oh, Edgeworth. He just like, he pulled some strings. And that was his old job. Oh, yeah. You're great, Rafa. Awesome. Is your mother dead?
At least her mom was with her for an entire life through uh, the disguise. So it's not like she doesn't have any connection to her at all. from the best uh, I need better better smugness man Straight through her mouth. <laughs> Perfect. There we go, man. Bad, surely, Mom. What do you got for us, boy? The people or some shit? I don't know. Like Dirk would want him to do what he wants.
Yeah, the dad's face is too good. Is like, get me the fuck out of this country. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Choose this guy. <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah, of course, man. His brother. Right? Your dad would want you to pick what you fucking wanted to do, not what he wanted. Okay, well, if they didn't have a big scene with him deciding to stay, then he's not gonna fucking stay. He'll show up at the fucking boss last minute. Phoenix did son? No. They kind of got a similar archetype going on, but he's a different dude's son, and, uh, yeah. They, he has his own game. The fourth game's his game, and he's kind of like Phoenix's pupil in a way. He gets wrapped up in a lot of Phoenix's shit after a nine-year time gap, where Phoenix, Phoenix loses his his ability to be an attorney for nine years, and Apollo kind of gets tied up in that whole thing. And is kind of works with Phoenix. Kind of learning from him, kind of like clearing his name and shit. Yeah, Zach Ramari's wife's son, <laughs> pretty much. He doesn't know that he's Lamar's fucking, like... He doesn't know that he's Zach Ramari's son. Alright, I think that's Zach Lamar, Lamar, whatever, his son. Okay, so he's fucking brother's... Brother-sister with, uh, Trucy. Right? But they don't know it. <laughs> so they got the same mother. Different fathers. And that's kind of like a big part of the fourth game. But, like, they never find out, which is really weird. And Trucy is uh, pretty much Phoenix's adopted daughter. And so they're kind of, like, together doing shit in the fourth game. Um, and it's kind of just him. He's just, like, a budding defense attorney. And he gets wrapped up with Phoenix. He's not related, but through work and, like, what becomes sort of a personal thing, which he doesn't even know about. You know, it comes with something more than just him being the apprentice, kind of. It's not even really, like, an apprentice thing, because, like, Phoenix is, like, a criminal at that point, almost. Like, <laughs> but... That's Hobo Phoenix. He's a, he's, a, he's pretty much a different character. Pound and Trucy's guts. I ship it, man, but no, nah, I don't think. I don't think it'll happen. I don't know when they're ever actually gonna reveal that they're siblings. The only one who knows is Phoenix, and he, he doesn't he hasn't told them for some reason. That was like two games ago.
some point in the future, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, it's like they make Apollo this really awesome character, and then they like write him off, man. I'm like, <laughs> come on, man. Like, for the sake of the rest of the games, man, like, I never want to see Kiron ever again. So, like, if the next game takes place in like three years and he's just back, like, great, man. I never want to see Sai to whatever the fuck again, and I'd really never, I'd like to not hear about Kiron ever again, man. This is the time for Phoenix to do it. Hey, that's your brother, by the way. See ya. Say goodbye. Oh, great. Now we're stuck with the fucking shit heap. Athena, man. I'm glad this pretty much turned into fucking Apollo's game, but I'm curious what that's really gonna do for the future because Athena I don't think has what it takes to be interesting enough to be like the duo. If they for a fucking minute do like cut to fucking Apollo's like solo adventures in Kurain, I'm going to fucking blow myself up. I don't want to see this shit ever fucking again, man. I want to see Sadamati ever fucking again, man. If they're gonna do another game and he's gonna be in it, do it where he's done with this shit, man. Moved on. Maybe they're trying to write out characters and they figured Athena's too, too new. If they need to write off characters, you might as well just at least reboot the fucking shit with the new fucking cast, man. Yeah, a time skip would be the best solution, for sure. Phoenix is only 35. Are you really sure you're okay with yeah, you could fix it, Athena, then, for uh -huh. sure. I always figured he'd leave the nest someday. Huh. <laughs> Ledger would look fucking weird as shit there. Although, with him having his own place like this, I'm too afraid that, like, they're gonna make it, like, his thing, you know? Jesus. Animation, man.
Glazed face, much glazed over. Huh? <laughs> the marm pits. It's her defining feature, man. No doubt. I mean, I don't know, are they trying to say they're going to make like a solo game with him? But like, the setting sucks. Like, Kirin sucks. Like, I don't mind having like Apollo do like his own thing, maybe. Like, just do another solo Apollo game, but like, not in Kirin, dude. Like, there's no, there's no, uh, no recipe for like interesting areas there. <laughs> you witted, son. <so. laughs> yeah. Proud of you, so <laughs> fucking you witness. I mean, he needs to come back because they need to do the trucy thing. I feel like they need to do like a three, four year time skip where he teaches people and then like he pieces out. The problem is since he's making his own, like, law office, it's like, how do you just, like, peace out on that? I think it'd be better for the games if they did. I know they're trying to make, like, a big thing happen and not just stagnate the series with, like, the same thing over and over, but I don't know if that was the way to do it, man. They make Apollo this, like, way better character now, and then they just fucking slap him off. Oh, great. And Emma's gonna be there with him. I don't want to see any more of that shit, dude. Fucking... I don't want to see a game with Kirin, Emma, Sadamati, and fucking a bunch of jackasses. I mean, Apollo's fine, I guess. I don't want to see a single bit of that. I don't even want to see a single case, even just as like a two-part, like, hey, here's, here's what Apollo's up to, you know? Detective and Ace Attorney 7. Where the fuck is Dick? Where the fuck did he even go, man? Like, everybody else has, like, a reason for not being around, possibly, or just they're not important, but, like, Big Gumshoe was, like, the man, like... Wait, what? Oh, okay. But yeah, I don't know, it's like... Like, where is Dig? That was like, Edward's man, you know? Like, that was the dude. Right. Like, if you want to make this feel like the old games, Big Gumshoe's a pretty good way to do it, man. Since he's like, actually seems like a detective, but he's just like a silly dude. And then all this fucking weird shit. Oh boy, the Athena fucking Phoenix game. Yeah, they could make her better, though. Her problem right now is she is a little green, man. Maybe it would be better. Maybe she'll have learned some shit by then. I mean, the thing is, they're gonna try to make Apollo come back, like, dramatically. Think, or I mean, he's gonna show up. I wouldn't care if he just showed the fuck up. Be like, oh, take three sentences, like, yeah, we finished the revolution, and I left it in the hands of, you know, Dats and the crew, and uh, here I am, and then just, just drop it. I don't know how many people, like, repped the new prosecutor in the setting, but like, surely it's not enough that they think they need to keep bringing it back. The game ending objection, probably not even have it, man. I don't remember if they had it in the fifth one. It's 
So we're a sergeant buff, man. I wanna know what happened with the person who lost both of her parents and is pretty much getting over being a cripple. So she's a Tomb Raider now? Give me that spin-off then. Okay, I could handle a game where they throw her in there more often. With fucking... Apollo, man. She was pretty fun. They had La Milana. <laughs> She's La Milana too. The best thing about Maya is that it introduced pearls. So like, you could just kill Maya now, and then just leave us with pearls, and it'd be awesome. She's a fun character. I don't get tired of pearls, man. I'm well past tired of Maya. The shoulder rubs, man. Jesus, I don't see more Rafa either, dude. need to give him more emotion. Like, if they bring him back, he needs to be a different man. What are we looking at right now? Are these Japanese? And what time period were they taken? So what's happening here? How's this Lamarora or whatever the fuck her name is? Oh, it is? Am I actually gonna deal with this, this issue? I thought they were gonna drop this and never talk about it again. Motherfucker, did you just cliffhang my ass, man? Ah! Ah! Surely they'll have some kind of thing. Well then, like, unless they're gonna have it- if it's a time skip, then it's like, they're already gonna have known. Cause they're not gonna wait five years to tell them. So... I mean... Uh, surely the game, the next game's gonna be like right after. I mean, they have to show the scene where they fucking tell them. I feel like it's a must. No objection, man. Well then, how are they gonna have him not be in Kirin if the next game's right after this? I don't know, dude. I don't know what they're gonna do, but there's gonna be something I don't like about it. Cause I don't want there to be any more Kirin. I'd really have Apollo be back with the squad. But I 
want them to show the reveal that the siblings thing's gonna happen. But you can't have both <laughs> without him actually being in Kirin or like Maybe the time skip, maybe it'll be like a year, and they'll tell him within a year. Los Angeles 2, yeah, welcome to the kingdom of Los Angeles 2. Overall though, I mean we're not done yet, we got the DLC case, but... It was a good game. I definitely got into the, uh, the final case pretty well. Third and the fifth one were good. The current cases were good. Because of the writing and shit. I, I don't care for the setting. Or, you know. I didn't love the characters that much, but just the events that were happening made it exciting. They made Apollo pretty damn good. Really upgraded him, it was nice. Um, I know the DLC case is trying to harken back to the original three. I know it's got Larry Butts. Um, don't know what else. I don't know what that said. Uh, whole magic mumbo jumbo seem barf. Um, yeah, there's definitely, I mean, there's, there's an ounce of magic in all of them because of the channeling and him being able to, like, tell when they're lying, but it's very, it's very light. The channeling was always just a channel like Mia for advice. And the other shit was just so you could, like, have press moments and objections, like, out in the field with your Matama or whatever. They, they really took the magic on crazy crazy times in this one um which was fine i mean it made it interesting and they made it so that you could actually use it they didn't take it so crazy that you couldn't logically think through it it wasn't like a shitload of ass pulls but i don't want to see this much magic again for sure korean shit's always been like where the magic's been at so now that we've kind of done that I don't just leave it leave it at the level that one through three had it and have the rest be like just technology and shit. It's pretty much magic. They did more crazy shit with fucking attacks sometimes than the magic. Been a few months already. Doesn't each person deserve their time, man? Not at being rushed? Extramarital affairs. The yeah, Akmalk. Instantly regrets his decision, man. This that'd be the best, man. If he just like ran away back to America, that'd be awesome, dude. Just shit on this game's fucking stupid Kiran bullshit.
This is the object, man. This has gotta be the objection, man. <laughs> yeah, fuck this, bro. Seems like you signed up for some bad times, man. I mean, there's a. That was like the darkest bit of hell, dude. Stuck in Kurain with those assholes and working non stop, dude. Did you imagine, man? <laughs> 